New York the shaming and naming in Hollywood has turned a new page with Corey Feldman pointing the finger at 1980s actor John Grissom as one of the men who allegedly sexually molested him as a teenager. The former child star made the revelation during a chat with Dr. Oz on the latter's show on Thursday. Dr. Oz said Feldman disclosed several other names off-air. Morag has also landed on Dustin Hoffman's face after a second woman made allegations. Writer-producer Wendy Riscatsunis said he propositioned her in 1991. Speaking to Variety, she said a meeting had been set up to discuss a film adaptation of her play, A Darker Purpose. She was then in her 20s. Hoffman allegedly asked her whether she had had sex with a man over 40. The allegation is the second made against him in two days, following a claim by Anna Graham Hunter, who was a production intern in 1985 on the death of a salesman TV movie, starring Hoffman. Hunter, who was 17 then, wrote in The Hollywood Reporter that he had groped her and spoken about sex with her. The heat is also on Kevin Spacey, who has been reportedly dropped by Creative Artists Agency. CNN reported that he created a toxic environment on the Netflix show House of Cards. A former production assistant said Spacey sexually assaulted him. Netflix and Media Rights Capital, the show's producer, suspended production earlier this week after another actor, who is not part of the cast, alleged he was accosted in 1985 at 14 by Spacey. In the CNN report, those interviewed said his predatory behavior included non-consensual touching and crude comments. According to his representatives, the Oscar winner is now seeking treatment after another sexual harassment allegation was brought against him this week by Mexican actor Roberto Cavazos. The latter worked in London's Old Vic Theatre, where Spacey was artistic director from 2004 to 2015. Meanwhile, director Brett Ravner has filed a defamation lawsuit against a woman who claimed in a Facebook post that he had raped her some 12 years ago. On Wednesday, he sued Ms. Melanie Kohler, accusing her of deliberately false and malicious accusations. Her lawyer countered that, Ravner and his lawyers can try to erase the truth through threats and intimidation, but we'll see you in court. Bloomberg, Reuters, Washington Post.